If you're a Norwegian... <laughs> if you're a Norwegian, click away from this video now. Thanks. All right, now that we got all the Norwegians out of the way, yo, fuck Norway! Worst country. Stinkiest country. <laughs> Listen up. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, before, actually, quick summary. For those of you who don't know, Sweden used to own Norway. I don't... You know, they were weird. It wasn't... It wasn't cool. We decided to let them go. Here you go. Oh, you want freedom? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Then, these fuckers... Can you believe these? These fuckers went and got super duper mega rich they're like oh wow there's oil there's like there's like money everywhere here look at these fuckers stupid norway literally they made so much money that everyone in norway is a, technically a millionaire are you kidding me it's as if you divorce someone that was really toxic and ugly <laughs> and then they got super rich eh? makes no sense worst part of this is that and I didn't even know this. Sweden had an offer from Norway to get in on this oil business 45 years ago. They said, hey, all right, you give us your precious Volvo a little bit percentage and we give you part of our maybe huge uh, oil thing that we got going on here. Eh? Sweden said no to 85 billion. Congratulations, Sweden. You know, it's bad enough that we let them go. To, we let go of 3 trillion, right? Then we were offered 85 billion to reconcile, and we said no! God damn it! I hate Norway! Oil and gas has made the Norwegians crazy rich. Yeah, I know. The stinkers. Look at them. This is Sweden. We could have been here. Poor Finland. Poor Finland. Poor Sweden. The stupid Norway! And their high GBP. GDP. Whatever. I'm so glad we kept Volvo cars, by the way. Now that we sold it to... China. Ah! Norway is now the richest in the world. Congratulations. I could be a millionaire. Oh, wait. Okay. I've had enough. I've had enough of Norway. Always flaunting their riches, their oil money. And as owner of Alaska. That's right. I own Antarctica, I mean. Yeah, Antarctica. I now have decided I own Sweden. Yeah, king of Sweden now. Hello. I decide. I decided. That's democracy. If everyone agrees, that's democracy, right? You agree with me? That's right. Okay, cool. So now that I rule Sweden, here's what we're gonna do. Sweden have been in peace for 200 years. 200 year peace. And in school in Sweden, we always celebrate this. Like, oh, it's so wonderful how we're such a peaceful nation. It's all a front, okay? We've been hiding in the shadows. We're ready to strike. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm going with this? Sweden is low-key one of the greatest superpowers. You see where I'm going with this? While everyone else is busy squabbling with their neighbors, which we haven't been doing. We've been pretending to be friends with Norway. Do you know how hard that has been? <laughs> you know how difficult that is to been try pretend to be friend with someone for 200 years? You don't like them. You sit back. This has been Sweden's plan. Who wrote this shit? We got the epic force navy gripping. Yeah. One of the greatest military advances of the world. We got weird looking drone helicopter things. And we got navy. What do you think Norway has? You know, they are so rich. They're sitting on all this money. You'd think they'd have, like, decent defense to take care of it, right? Bro, I'm telling you, they got nothing. They are nothing. Norwegian armed forces. 23k. That's all they got. Bruh. Lit. <laughs> they have cyber defense. Why? Idiots. <laughs> what are they gonna do? 23k. We walk right in. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As king of Sweden, we're taking Norway now. So Sweden and Norway have had a lot of wars in the past. Okay. We had the Battle of Valer. Tistedal in the year. Okay. This is all. Okay. Invasion of Valer. Sweden won. Easy clap. We can do it again. Battle of Tistalen. Sweden won. Easy clap. We can do it again. Battle of Lear. Oh, Nor Norway won? Why? They captured eight of them. That's such a dick move. That's so typical Norwegian. We don't do that. Bro, stop capturing the Swedes. We don't do that. Okay, we do that. But we don't capture as many. That's super rude. Norway. See, every time Norway won, they grab a bunch of Swedish people. They're literally vampires. 
That's so not cool, man. Oh, we got fucking destroyed in Battle of Langness. We will avoid Langness, okay? Bro, why is this why is this named after me? Battle of Shelberg? Shelberg? <laughs> the bridge? Ah! <laughs> Bro, we will... This is our... Okay, it all makes sense now. This is where we will strike. The bridge. The Shelbert Bridge. We'll strike through here. We'll beat Battle of Langness once again. And we'll walk right into Oslo. It's a perfect plan. We'll send all the Jos Griffin from Stockholm. Right, from the King's Castle. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Bing, bada, boom. We secure the oil. And you know America's probably gonna start fiddling... And probably, you know, they're like the annoying stepdad, right? Oh, we can make all the wars we want, but the other people, no, you can't do that. So we're gonna have to do it quick. We're gonna have to strike fast. So it's a good thing no Norwegians are watching this video. I'm thinking tomorrow, probably, we should do this. I think it's a pretty sound plan. We'll be three trillion richer. All the money will go to back to the Swedes. And anyone that's willing to help, of course. Norwegians, you, I'm sorry, you get nothing. I like this idea. I think this is a strong, good idea. And then you might say... It's unethical, and it's not cool. <laughs> yeah, to that I say, bunch of crybaby bullshit. Okay, we're, I'm taking Norway. It's mine. Now, of course, as a king of Sweden, I am war leader, general, master. I've read Sun Tzu 50 times front and back. And the point of war, and the best, biggest point I've learned, is that you have to avoid confrontations at all costs. Even if... Norway only has 23,000 pitiless uh, defenders, you know. Even if they probably wouldn't do anything, it'd be better to do. What I'm proposing as King of Sweden, Norway, if you're listening, I know you're there, you dummies. I know you're not gonna click up the way the video. <laughs> it was all a plan, <laughs> you fools. I'm proposing what we did 200 years ago. Make the Norway-Sweden Union. Look, this could be us, literally. Denmark. I guess Denmark can join too, I guess. <laughs> what is this painting? Poster promoting Scandinavism between Norway, Sweden, Denmark. Hell yeah. Listen, we could all grow mustaches and shake hands. Think about it. It'll be cool. It'll be like, it'll be like old times. Think about it, Norway. Denmark, yeah, you can join Finland. But stay off. Back off. Step, step back, Finland. You cannot join us. Iceland, maybe. And uh, if you, oh, uh, if you're willing to accept Norway, I will give you another part of Ant Antarctica, Alaska, Antarctica, Antarctica. I will give you another piece of Antarctica, Norway, that I know you desperately want. Okay, you get the last piece of uh, Antarctica. We get to share the three trillion. I think that's fair. You have twelve hours to respond, Norway. Make your choice, or Oslo is ours. You thought it was gay, but true relevance never really died. Welcome to the first undead game! Use any item in your inventory and make memes inside Tuber Simulator. Add some of our patented stickers in there. Stickers are emotions. Memes are emotions. Express your emotions with me! Share them for likes. Share them for love. Get up for free! And who knows? Maybe I'll review your memes. The greatest honor of all time. Full circle, baby! Download it! Make a meme! <laughs> we need subtitles on this.